Yeah. Previously on Tryhards, two idiots decided to degrade themselves in order to test the theory that giving Instagram the false impression that Nikki has an oversized booty will have a positive effect on her popularity. Spoiler alert, it will. The dumber of the two, who seems addicted to context, gave a long-winded explanation of the cultural significance of big butts. That's their idea of a good show, and what do you want me to tell you? So, let's get on with it. Wait till you see what the tryhards do today. After combing through the top fitness chicks and booty model Instagram accounts, we narrowed down a few dozen extremely popular photos that had gotten thousands of likes. Since the original photos were already proven winners, we decided to plagiarize them. We set out to copy the original photos shot to shot as closely as possible, but with one extra partially hidden addition. Since at this point it was clear that at its core, this booty experiment was gonna be a Photoshop hoax, we decided to include in every photo a Photoshop instruction manual, like an Easter egg. As we started copying Jen Selter's photos, we started to become aware of something we might have been overlooking. In addition to Nikki not having a huge butt, we may have some additional limitations. We're poor. Right. And of course that's important too. Duh. Jen Selter is selling a lifestyle, not just booty pics. Jen's followers don't just want her booty, they want her life. So what could we do to show off a Jen Selter lifestyle? even though we don't live that way. We'd have to fake that. We have to fake that also. Obviously, we don't have regular access to European mansions or multi-million dollar New York condos or have vacation properties in Florida or a house in the Hamptons. But if we blew a lot of money, we could appear to, the, <laughs> to live that way for a little, for a couple days. So we packed up the yoga pants, charged up the credit cards, and we flew to Europe. Venice. Florence, the Amalfi Coast, then Jamaica. And on each stop of the tour, we tried to capture not just a desirable butt, but a lifestyle. In Venice, we shopped for souvenirs, and then we got productively drunk. The next morning, Nikki did yoga poses next to gondola boats on the canal. The first picture turned out great, but there was a problem. Once we were physically in Venice, we realized something that everybody in Italy would already know. Nobody goes on runs there. It's a claustrophobic little city on the water connected by tiny little bridges with no roads, no bicycles. So there's nowhere to run. We didn't see a single pair of leggings or yoga pants in public or anyone even working out in public. This was the same story no matter what time of day we went outside. So we felt a little bit stupid trying to shoot workout gear in Venice. So we moved on. Florence, Italy, on the other hand, is the workout capital of the world. No, just kidding. It's a similar sort of problem, but at least we were able to find a sort of photogenic, Instagram braggy, knockoff royal palace type apartment that we could duplicate some of the popular pictures in. Florence, Italy is where our fake Instagram lifestyle really started to take off. We went out at night and met hedge fund managers and multi-million dollar tech entrepreneurs and even attended a masquerade ball. And while they all got drunk and danced, we slipped around the villa and took pics. You might be thinking, whoa, 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 you went to a masquerade in Italy? How are we supposed to do that? Admittedly, that is a hard scenario to replicate. But the best I can say is, if you or your girl starts wearing a dress like this, fancy people might start inviting you places so they can steal your girl. This felt like a risky move for me, you know, taking a relationship into an eyes wide shut party. I'm not gonna tell you their names, but if I did, I don't think you'd sleep so well. All night, my girl was getting hit on by billions of dollars in net worth. Nikki did leave the party with me that night and everything turned out okay, but it probably didn't hurt that I wore this mask. I may not have a lot of money or power, but I am crazy and nothing quite says F off, dude. You don't know me like a death mask. The next morning at the crack of dawn, we made perhaps some of the finest butt crack art the world will ever see. And since we were now members of European high society, naturally, we decided to swing by the museum and make a generous donation to culture. Jen Selter's classical monkey butt poses were put where they belong. That belongs in a museum! Unfortunately, we made the mistake of telling one fish our plan to make Nikki into an Instagram influencer. And for the rest of the day, they all laughed in our faces. <laughs> 
Honestly, we started to lose focus about Nikki being like Jen Selter and uh, things got a little bit weird. The next stop for the Instagram booty tour was Amalfi. Now, the Amalfi Coast is a world of stairs. Everywhere you go in the town of Amalfi, you're climbing hundreds and hundreds of stairs. You know how athletes will go to high altitude cities to train? If you're trying to get great legs and a big butt for real for Instagram, Amalfi is the place to booty train. Plus, as a backdrop for Yoga Pants lifestyle pictures, nothing beats the views in Amalfi. There's an Acropolis overlooking the city, cathedrals, medieval architecture. It's a lot like King's Landing from Game of Thrones, so it felt like the perfect place, if there is one, to break out the Game of Thrones yoga pants. And maybe it was the high altitude, or how Stark powering her thighs. But Nikki was finally, and without assistance, able to accomplish the Ultra Celtic. The Helter Celtic. The next shoot was in Jamaica, where we actually stayed in a mansion with a Banksy on the stairs and Nikki climbed a jungle tree. But for us, remember, this is all fake. Unless you are Jen Selter and legitimately wealthy, you can't live that way for long. Eventually, you gotta go home and start editing. I'll tell you a secret. It's about fake, sexy people. They might come after me for this one. They might really come after me for this one. And I don't mean a copyright strike, like, Prince E, taking my video down. I mean, they might kill me. Some personal trainer might actually kill me. So if I go missing or crash my car, investigate Instagram. Because there are a lot of sneaky little booties, chubby bikini models, and wimpy weightlifters who don't want to be exposed for their actual size. Their massive egos will not allow this. But we're going to show you anyway because you need to know when a booty is fake, now more than ever. Because your likes and your follows, they may seem like nothing, but they're a currency. And there are fake people spending that currency, cashing it in for to shill products like skinny tea. Skinny tea, try skinny tea. That's how I flatten my stomach and have a fat <laughs> Fake. Before you go liking and following and buying the products that they're paid to talk about. Familiarize yourself with what I'm gonna show you. Once you've got your Photoshop glasses on, when you scroll through your feed, you're gonna be spotting this trick the whole way, like raccoons. They were mailboxes, you idiot. I didn't have the heart to tell you. So, there is a tool in Photoshop called Liquify. <coughs> Liquify is the, the source of almost all imaginary curves on the internet. Not just for butts and boobs, it's also vain bodybuilders who want to imagine that their arms are way bigger. Not, not imagine. They want you to think their arms are way bigger than they are. There's the gains you get at the gym from working out. And then there's Adobe gains, which are way easier. Watch. I didn't even work out. That was Liquify. I should not be telling more people this. But hey. Hey, that's what tryhards is all about, right? We show you how to to be an internet f head, sh lord. Ugh. To demonstrate, I'm gonna show you how we've been making Nikki's butt look bigger and rounder than it is. We are using this tool. We're cheating. That's the f point of this. That's the plot. Oh, sponsored by gross. Here's how you do it. Here's how we're doing it. Random picture with an average booty. Let's open it up. We want to make this butt way bigger. How do we do it? Liquify. Ah! Ah! Look, everybody, it's Kim Kardashian. See, it's that f***ing easy. So that's how you do it poorly, okay? We've made her butt bigger, clearly. Yes, we've made her butt bigger, but we've destroyed the background. We, we're going to get busted for this, okay? The door is melting. The balcony is bent right where her butt gets bigger. That's a dead giveaway. This is how fitness chicks bust themselves all the time for using this tool. They forget the background. You'll see this kind of like environmental damage in the background of a lot of suspiciously curvy selfies, particularly if the girl is editing the photo on her phone, guy or girl, and can't see very well, or if they're just really dumb. Doorways are a dead giveaway. Tiles are a huge giveaway. They're really hard to fake around. 
selfies taken in bathrooms and locker rooms will have that have tiles tiles are perfect squares so if you see tiles that aren't squares they probably use liquify fences are another giveaway if you see a fence that's all melted and wiggly busted liquify it's not just normal skanks that get busted for this the kardashian sisters fuck up liquify from time to time lindsay lohan ate with liquify one time lots of famous people have and they've got the money and the pr team to get good editors there's no excuse so if you want to be better than them if you want to be ultimo try hard ultimate try hard here's how you do it and don't get caught there are two ways that i know of the first way is to use the freeze tool inside of liquify it's right here you paint over all the areas that you don't want to f up everything that's not her butt all of the area that I've just painted in red will not get affected now by the liquify tool. That didn't work very well for this photo because of how complex the background is. So here's method two. Duplicate your layer. Do all your dirty work on that, just like before. Now select with a feather of about one, select very carefully the butt or the bicep or the boobs, whatever you're doing, whatever you're faking and then delete it. Look at that. Now you see the original background, the fake booty, all in the same picture. People that know about Liquify will zoom in and look for damage here, and they're not gonna be able to find it because we took that extra step. We're doing this in almost every photo for this project, and it's the reason why we're hiding Photoshop for dummies in the background, of an e as an Easter egg, in the background of every photo. Sometimes it's like right out in the open and you can see it easily. And other times it's like, it's a little better hidden. It's a little bit like Where's Waldo. It is in every single photo. Can you feel it? Uh, next time on the thrilling conclusion of tryhards hear the riveting traffic secrets of facebook reddit and imgur learn what instagram's queen of booty and yoga pants thought of nerd city's attempts to parody her how did jen selter react triggered flattered internalized depression eternally oppressed you, you can't